was diagnosed with stomach cancer uh, sometime in late March, early April. For pretty much our whole marriage, he's had cancer. Well, he was diagnosed with stage four cancer, and he's had spread of cancer to the bone of the spinal cord. And with that spread of cancer, he suffers from significant pain. On a scale of one to 10, I would say I was at a nine. I reserved 10 for double leg amputation. He feels really guilty getting up so much in the middle of the night, so he doesn't usually sleep in our room. And I'm not comfortable, you know, mentally even, just, you know, going in there and laying down, knowing that I'm gonna be up in an hour, waking her up, even though she swears she doesn't mind. He said that he wouldn't want to do radiation again. It was just, uh, it wasn't worth it to him. And, uh, and so that's how, I, that's how I found star ablation. Spine star ablation can be used to treat their metastases without putting them through additional radiation. The spot in his spine is still there that, that the radiation was targeting. It helped, but not right away and not completely. Tumors of the spine that are specifically what we call radioresistant or they don't respond, or the tumors themselves don't have, are not very sensitive to radiation therapy. They also are good candidates. We ran it by our oncologist, and he didn't know much about it, to be honest. Um, he said, you know, uh, I'm not gonna tell you not to do it, but I don't think there's any proof that it's better than standard radiation. And in my mind, I was thinking, well, I've seen a couple of these testimonials, and these are real people who have had complete pain relief. One woman said that within a week she came off of all of her pain medicine. If I could get off about half the pain medication, that would be, I would consider that a success. Sitting through church, um, that would be too long for him. That was something we like to do together. Yeah, we definitely feel it's a procedure for us. It's, it's a necessity at this point to, to enjoy any amount of life that I have. This is, this is already an improvement. You had the procedure on Wednesday, and by Friday, we came up here to First Friday right. and walked around with the kids, and they had face painting and things like that, and he came with us and, and, and we walked around, lap. which is, um, you know, more than he was doing before that. I can't remember what we did Saturday, but Sunday, we went to church, sat through the whole thing without needing to get up, and then we went to the movies that night and sat through the Lone Ranger, which was, I think, three hours or close to it. It was long. It was long, yeah. Um, but it was fine, and those were things that we hadn't really been able to do at all. One of the things that he said when he was in the hospital not too long ago was that he had been wanting to just go to a coffee shop and just sit, kind of like we used to do. So, you know, yeah. we just decided to do that today. Which so this fun. was already kind of on the plan. I mean, you actually get sleep. So, and that's been a huge difference. And the side effects I had from radiation, I mean, I was unable to do any other type of treatment for five weeks. And I felt like hell. So this would have been hardly any break mm -hmm. back when I was doing a regular regimen. Yeah, two days later we were out doing more than you had done in yeah. months. Yeah, exactly. I would say that as soon as someone finds out that they have meds to the spine, that they should find a doctor who can do this procedure and send the scans right away. and get it taken care of. There's no reason to live with pain while you're going through everything else. You know, It was just too easy. Yeah. Two days. Didn't have to skip a beat, didn't have to miss chemo or anything like that. I would say do it hands down. It's made a big difference. I would recommend it and I would, I would do it again.